it was a last minute thing. People should know you texted me a minute before the show <laughs> and said, can you host this? So considering the, the, the timeline, you know, um, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was super cool though. But it was a lot of fun. You guys were hilarious. It was really fun. Um, we didn't even get, see, see, you didn't even get to my answer. I finally came out, I'm trying to give you an answer. So, and then you, you're on FDXLBN. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So that, that was the, the feedback, huh? Is it alcohol too long? Alcohol is the, is the, is the COVID, the COVID answer. I, but what, okay. What is, what is my, uh, what is my note though for comedically? I thought I was all P, like, I know there were kids probably watching too. I think it was all PG. No, it was lovely. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Right. A couple of, you know, whatever. I mean, I, I, I debut like a brand new song. I mean, it's 10 years old, but I don't do it very much. I sing it and it cuts to you and you're like fake crying. That, that wasn't, you know, I mean, my kids thought it was funny when we, when we watched it last night. Boom. <laughs> Boom. As long as I got, uh, but, the kid but you know, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't lead with the cry, maybe like dovetail into the cry or. What's that like watching your kids just uh, <laughs> discover their new favorite comedian while you're trying to just, you know, bear it all on your sleeve? That not new favorite. I mean, you guys go way back. I mean, yeah. we shared the screen together. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, wait, I do need to talk, to talk about sharing the screen. You're now sharing the spotlight because uh, Griff is now a bona fide TV star. Yes. Let's throw it out there. People need to know, Joe Mack, look, we all know, look, okay, Teeny Bop, Star of the Week, Desktop Screensaver, uh, 1993, uh, you know, SexyPupils.com, Cover yeah. Boy, um, yeah. you know, uh, just, you know, uh, the list goes on and on. The accolades, the achievements, the awards, we get it. Played the Super Bowl. Ooh, gives a shit. But, Stage dad, holy hell. Wow. Griff gets this gig, saw some tape, phenomenal. Like you see him singing on these really tours good. and you're like, and just for me getting to know him and I'm like, yeah, charismatic kid, got the timing, got the delivery. Guess what, man? Still got to put that into motion when cameras and lights and scripts and actors. And they, they act and yeah. yeah dude, it's a whole other thing, and which Big I'm sure deal. you were prepping him on, but he's crushing it and I'm just like, not surprised, but surprised at how good. You know what I'm saying? Where you go, in your head you go, yeah, no, I know he can do it. And then you see Absolutely. it, you go, yeah, you know. Yeah, you well, know, when, when I was, yes. And, and, and you know, they tape on Fridays and by Sunday I would call him and be like, listen, I, I just want you to know you did phenomenal. You know, because when you're working every week, you want him to work as hard as possible to get the lines down so he could be freed up to have fun. You know, because if you're thinking of the lines, but that multicam situation, the sitcoms, they the changes come fast and furious. So it's it's a lot. But um, they they filmed four episodes and then they got suspended. So you know, hopefully they'll they'll start up soon. You'd like to think that operation is small enough where they won't have the live studio audience anymore, but they'll keep shooting the show and. Um, yeah, it was, it was a trip, man. He, we moved to New York and he got this job in LA and me and my wife were binging back and forth. And um, we just kind of got smitten again with Los Angeles, so. And do you think that you might put touring and performing on the back burner to become a full-time stage dad? That would definitely <laughs> not happen because I didn't know how. That's what I'm saying, dude. Lawfully, you can't just drop them off. You got to stick around. Oh, I so, found out that the hard way. When you pop by my place for a minute just to say what up, because it was like, right, oh, dude, I had a Joe's mental... back in town. Yeah. And I'm like, this is amazing. And you come yeah. in, you come in, and I got to be honest, Pickles, my dog, could, could pick up on the panic that was settling in. Yeah. And so, you you know, you it was, it was nice that it was like a stop and chat because you were filling my new place with a lot of bad juju. But you came in. That's a joke, by the way. Yeah, okay, laugh. But you came in, and, we were, and it, it was great because you were so pumped to be there and talking about it. And then as I'm walking you downstairs, you get a text being like, hey, we got things are going, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, shit, I got to go. And I was like, oh, man, this is a whole new world. And then it sounds like, you know, you're telling me, once I got the rhythm and the schedule, I settled in and it was, it was all gravy. But 
Um, well, it, it is a full-time job. Yeah. To, to whoever is chaperoning him, it's a full-time job. Plus, plus he's your son and you want him to do good. But there's, there's a line between letting him do his thing. I mean, where do you draw that line? Yeah. Because it could get, as I was saying, like that movie Whiplash, you know, where he's like, you become overbearing and like, you know, you're not going to amount to anything if you don't learn these goddamn lines, you know, that kind of, <laughs> yeah, you know. Dude. So I know it's crazy when I heard you say that over the phone. I was like, dude, at least do this outside on the street. Like right, this. exactly. Uh, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope, but he's doing great. We yeah. learned a lot. We really, um, we hope that they'll be, be back on set very soon and, and get back to work. And uh, yeah, it's pretty wild.